Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. I'm Doc Holly and I'm going to be guiding you through cycle syncing workouts where we work with your divine female biochemistry to take advantage of your hormonal ebb and flow to optimize your fitness results. And today we're actually going to take it back a little bit because sometimes during our menstrual cycle, it leads to back pain and we can do something about it through movement. Movement is medicine. So we're going to be doing a lot of forward folds and deep breathing today to release some of that pain. So I hope you enjoy it and find it helpful. Find something you're really comfortable in. If you haven't already, um, hit subscribe to join the family so we can continue working out and moving together. And I'll see you on the yoga mat. Yogi, we're gonna get started in this seated forward fold. So carefully make your way onto your sit bones with your legs out in front of you about shoulder width apart. And if you have tight hamstrings, sit onto like a pillow or even fold up your yoga mat a couple of times. Good. Start with your feet flexed back. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, leading with the chest with a nice flat back. And when you can't reach with the flat back anymore, just fold in. Tucking your chin to your chest, slightly engaging your navel to your spine to help you into the compression here. Just draping over your legs. Relax tension in the jaw and in the face. Allowing yourself to just let go a little bit more. And feel into the low back. Feel the sensations throughout your entire body. Maybe first the obvious ones, the big muscle stretches. Then maybe the subtleties. Just notice everything about your body right now. Being so tuned in with how you feel. Slowly crawl your way back up. Take your left foot inside your right leg. Then we're going to turn towards our right leg and fold over this way. Inhale, reach your arms up, leading with the heart once again. Fold over that leg. Relax here, letting your chin tuck towards you. And slowly unwind. Letting your body unwind on its own, on its own pace on its own accord, not rushing. Just be present with what you feel. Taking another breath. And slowly rise. Now we'll switch sides. Left leg forward, right foot inside the left thigh. First face your right knee. Drape the left arm inside as you reach the right arm up and side bend the left foot think of barrel rolling your right heart to the sky or to the ceiling if you're inside or outside start to reach more out the right pinky as you root the right sit bone down to find that full length pulse it out a little bit for a three two one inhale rise Face your left leg. Inhale, arms come back up. Exhale, fold over the left leg. And it's really helpful too if we can get in full deep breaths. Think of sending your inhale all the way to your low back space, creating more room. Every breath in, we actually can create little bits of space in our body. So know that power that you have. Let's take another breath. And slowly come back up. Good. Now face the side of your mat, the long side. And make sure your heels are gonna be padded on your yoga mat in this straddle, but not as wide as you possibly can. 
turn the toes out and kind of spiral the inner thighs to the sky. Lifting your sit bones again, you can sit on a pillow or something if that helps. Roll the shoulder blades back and we'll just start to walk forward. Maybe you stop here and that feels like a good stretch to you or you go deeper. Be where you are today. Again, it's not about flexibility today. It's about relieving space in your back body. So never rushing into the pose, but just slowly listening, listening to how you feel. And when you do feel a sense of relief, a sense of more space, less tension, maybe you do go a little bit further, but that's really not what it's about. So no rush. more just a sense of letting go and renewing yourself today. Recalibrating your nervous system as you breathe deeply and softly. Staying low, walk over to the right. Laying your chest over your right leg. Drop in your body, drop into your breath pattern. Good, through center, staying low. And we'll just walk it over to the left leg. Ease into the stretch. Relax your back body. Breathe into that space. Good, slowly walk it back center for one more deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, and then slowly come back up. Kick your legs back forward. Roll onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Giving yourself a hug. Compressing your thighs into your chest actually really helps to massage the internal organs there. Good, and then we'll take happy baby. Grab the outsides of your feet with your hands, or if that's too much, you can grab along your shins. If you want more, you can grab the pinky fingers to your big toes. Simply rocking side to side, giving your back a little massage as the ankles pull down over the knees to compress more towards the earth. All in all, feeling good. Maybe finding a gentle sway side to side or stillness. And inhale all the way down to your pelvic floor. Feel that big deep breath. Exhale as you relax the jaw, relax your shoulders, all of the muscles in your face. Simply setting the intention to relax is enough and it's quite powerful as you find your body relaxing more here. Explore. Exhale. One more time, breath in. Breath out. Awesome, slowly draw the knees back into your chest. Then we're gonna roll over to the side with your knees together. Take them over to the left. Stacking the hips. And take your arms out wide like a big T, palms up to the sky. Nice gentle twist. If your body is craving a deeper twist, feel free to take it, but just this simple twist is very powerful. As you rinse out your spine, move through the internal organs and breathe all the way down every vertebrae every rib you have. Good, use a little bit of core to draw the knees back up and over to the other side. Arms come back like a T. Maybe you close your eyes. Exhale just a bit longer than the inhale. Helping you get into that sympathetic nervous system. Sorry, the parasympathetic, the rest and relax. The sympathetic is the fight or flight, which we often hang out in when we're in pain to bring us back to the rest and digest deep, slow exhales. Awesome. Knees back into your chest. 
Give yourself a big hug. And we'll actually end in side lying. Go over to my left side with my head on my upper arm like a pillow. Knees bent into your chest. And if you're still feeling a little bit of discomfort, just stay here and work on that diaphragmatic breathing. So you can put your right hand even onto your ribs and breathe into that hand. So you feel the diaphragm opening, descending as you inhale and the rib inflating all the way to your back. And stay here as long as you need. And when you're ready to get back up, make sure you drop a comment to let me know how it helped you and subscribe if you haven't already, Yogi. Can't wait to see you next time. Namaste. Mm -hmm.